Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody had a great weekend and is enjoying this day. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes last week. We had a great time with my family, uh, ordered some pizza and watched some Parks and Rec. So overall, it was a great day. But thank you very much for all the birthday wishes and the kind thoughts. Let's talk about COVID. And I'm not going to say anything that we haven't been talking about for the past nine, ten months. What I am going to say is that what I'm telling you is very important, and we really need to be taking this seriously. The governor today is going to be announcing, it's going to have an announcement at uh, 3 o'clock. What we're seeing in the state of North Carolina is that 40 of our counties have reached a tipping point. And what that means is that infections have reached a point within a population that it's going to become unmanageable. Now, that is infections. That is not deaths. We know that the death rate has gone down, so we're doing a better job understanding how to treat it, and it's not the same you know, death mortality rate that it was, say, six, eight months ago. However, that doesn't mean that it is not serious, serious, serious. We take care. We help people. We are the first line for so many individuals and the populations that we serve are particularly vulnerable to this. So we have to be behaving in a way that if everybody's doing what we're doing, we're going to get through this in a better way. Also, the vast majority of our caregivers are African-American. African-American have a higher susceptibility to a negative outcome with COVID. I do not want anything to happen to any of the caregivers. I tell you guys every week, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. I want everything to to be good for you and, and help you in every way that we can. So please, please, please take this seriously. What can we do? It's the same thing that I say all the time. Wash our hands, practice safe social distancing, wear your mask, but not um, maintain safe social distances. Wear your mask, not just when you're with our clients, but also when you're out in public. Don't gather you know, with a large group of people. And if you are gathering with a large group of people, make sure that it's at a limited time and that you're wearing your mask. So let's talk about the holidays. What are you going to be doing? You know, now's the time to be gathering with people. We miss people so much. I can just tell you what my family is going to be doing. We are not gathering. Uh, I'm not going down to see my dad, who is in his 80s. I'm not going to see my sister, um, who is a little bit older than I am. Uh, we're going to be just staying at home and maintaining safe social practices with any people that we may see in our neighborhood. If we're going to meet, it's probably going to be outside. Um, we're going to maintain distances and, you know, there wouldn't be any gatherings over probably six people. So that's the, what I'm trying to do to help protect myself as well as the rest of my community. Um, so please, please, please pay attention to what, um, what you're doing from a behavioral standpoint. Also, if you are um, not taking vitamin D supplements, there is some evidence out there that uh, suggests that if you have low vitamin D levels, you are more susceptible. Uh, your immune system is more compromised. So please make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D, uh, probably through supplementation because we're not as exposed to the sun as we are during the summer months. So anyway, um, I will... Hopefully see you guys very soon. Please call the office. Let me know what you think about this or if you have any thoughts, any suggestions that we can do to make these times better. Please, please, please let us know. I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye.